I have not been able to do much this week to work on my wellness journey. Um, my father had surgery this week, and uh, there's just a lot going on in my family. Um, and that is probably something I need to work on. I have a tendency to put everybody else first. Um, it's okay to do, again, it's okay to do that. I mean, you should take time to take care of those that you love. And um, my father needed me, and so did my mother, because it was hard watching her um, husband um, go through surgery. And she's not the healthiest person either. But I'm going to try to get track today, do some more, some, might do some cleaning later. I did manage to get my kitchen cleaned and I love it and I've been able to stay on top of cleaning it because I don't want to go back to where it was. But today I'm going to explore um, one of the things that the doctor talked to me about and that is living an active lifestyle. And I was like, well, I, I do exercise. I do make sure that I um, don't just sit around the house all the time and different things like that. And she said, no, what I mean, I don't necessarily mean exercise. I, she said, I mean making an intentional effort to just have um, an active lifestyle, not just what you are doing at work, because I my work is very active, and not just taking, say, 30 minutes or an hour out of the day to do specific exercises. I thought that was interesting. That was going to be very hard for me, because both my husband and I are often exhausted from our jobs. Our jobs are absolutely exhausting. There's just no other word for it. Um, they take a lot out of us and then whatever we have left over or more importantly mm, I shouldn't say our kids are left over that's not the case it's like we put our kids first and then whatever and so I guess whatever we have left over maybe we use it on ourselves and there's usually not much left over because we never want our kids to feel like that um, our jobs are more important than them and so we always um, make extra effort for them and then there's often not room for ourselves. And in order to live an active lifestyle, I think I need to try to um, find some different ways of doing that. So in my research, cannot find my notebook that has all of that. I hope I find it soon. Maybe I that's one thing I happen to do. When I clean, I put things away and I can never remember where they are. ADHD for you. Um, was something called forest bathing. Um, it's often done in Japan. Um, I don't fully understand it, um, but it forces me to get outside as I explore it. That's the other thing that my new doctor talked about is that being just being outside decreases blood pressure, it increases um, your mood, I mean, makes your mood better, it helps your mood get better, it um, decreases stress, it increases your immunity, and in all the research that I saw about forest bathing, they said the same things over and over again, that it is just a way to, again, reduce stress, increase your immunity, um, helps with depression, um, also getting outside, even lowers your blood pressure too. Um, I've been having some higher blood pressure issues recently. I'd love to find a natural way to lower that. I do not want to stop meds for that. Um, and then she also talked about meditation um, or mindfulness, not necessarily meditation, but mindfulness. But I was trying to figure out some ways to kind of work on that. Um, and it was suggested on me to do brain to me to do brain dumping, and um, I loved what the research said about that. And so, I got myself a pretty notebook that's 
empty to write all that in. So brain dumping, I'll get up in the morning and just write every single thought that runs through my head, get it out of my system. Um, the person who told me about this encouraged me not to read back onto it until I got to the very end of the book. So I don't know if I cheated or if this is a, <laughs> probably just a better way for, I got a real thick book because I feel like if I got something thinner, I probably would finish this in a couple of days. And I think the point is to see progression, to see how you um, improve. And um, just in it, and I uh, also um, was given an article about it, and in it it says, there are different ways to do brain dumping, and I think this is the one that will work best for me is just to wake up in the morning and write out every thought. Um, they say it's really good because it's like it helps with reducing stress because it keeps your brain from just bringing up the same thoughts over and over again and ruminating and occupying all of um, your energy by just constantly rethinking over the same thing over and over again. So if you get it out and put it out there, the release of it. And so I like that as a way of maybe just easing me into mindfulness and cause I just tend to just brush everything off and pack everything down and not let myself let things go. So, um, I love this. this is pretty, I actually made, I kind of, um, spoiled myself and got an actual leather one. Um, why not make it a little bit more, um, snazzy? So yes, I'm going to try to go do some forest bathing, go walk around outside. The only problem is, is that it's raining, but why should that stop me if it's raining? I mean, it's not like downpour it's just sprinkled raining i do have a parka um a waterproof parka um got some great hiking shoes and maybe just i can see it as a way of just cleansing some things away and that the world is helping me do it a little bit i don't know um maybe one day i can actually smile more we'll see